Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another third party unlicensed one to one scale prop replica unboxing and review video. Now today we are taking a look at an Assassin's Creed item specifically from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. The one based in London if I recall correctly. This is the cane weapon that is owned by Jacob Fry in the game. It's a full metal piece and it is a third party item so do bear that in mind when you are deciding on whether or not to pick this piece up. It is made by HCMY. If you're thinking that name sounds familiar, that's because it should. They also made a bunch of one-to-one -one scale nano and infinity gauntlets. We've already reviewed them on the channel. If you are looking to pick this up, I got mine from toyswandland.com. Do bear in mind though that this is unlicensed. So when you are making your purchasing decisions, do keep that in the back of your mind. The box is relatively plain. You literally have the Assassin's Creed logo and HCMY edition on the front there. On the inside though is where the real goodness lies because of course we do get the cane itself. And here it is in all its glory. Now of course it does come in various pieces so we will have to assemble it. We may as well take all the bits and pieces out first and then proceed to the assembly stages. I have to say, this is a really darn hefty piece. Even the base of this thing alone is incredibly heavy. And it looks like there's another hidden blade down below. So of course I'll have to see how all of this does work in just a second. Lastly, we do have this final piece up top here. And of course all of this will screw together, I would imagine, yes, there is a threaded section up on top to create the cane itself. What we are going to do now though is get the cane fully assembled and take a closer look. And here we have the cane itself. I have to say, not knowing a heck of a lot about Assassin's Creed, this thing as a cane is super darn impressive. Technically, if you wanted to, you could use this as some kind of walking apparatus. It's just for the hidden weapons on the inside that might get you in trouble. Now up on top here on the handle, we do have this big honkin' bird head. It's done in this brass style material, and it does have a beautiful patina over the top. It's aged and it's weathered, it's not a brand new cane. Coming down, you have this super intricate design, Again, with the aged look in the crevices. The main handle is made out of a very interesting style material. It is still metal, but it's got this sort of mottled, rough texture to it. It helps with a little bit of grip, and it does look quite interesting. Down below we do have even more detail, and yes, that is a blade down there as well. You simply hit this button, and it springs out. None of the blades on this piece are sharp at all, it's literally just meant for cosplay so these aren't actual weapons. Just be careful with this blade though because the tip is still a little bit pointy, but then again it's not sharp enough to do any real damage. It is a stainless steel piece and I'm pretty sure some of the other parts on this cane are also made of stainless steel. The mechanism is very simple, you literally just fold it away and then the button can be used to reactivate that blade. It's a nice little hidden feature that honestly I didn't even know was there. Now of course the main blade is up on top. You'll have to excuse the absolutely horrid sound as we screw it out, but here we have the main blade itself. It does have a beautiful intricate pattern on the blade on both sides. This too is a completely blunt blade so you don't have to worry about cutting yourself when you are assembling the actual cane itself. But yes, it is a proper full-sized blade that you can store inside the cane. The real reason I picked this up is for Ms. Collection. She loves Assassin's Creed so this will be taking pride of place in her collection alongside her 1-6 scale figures. Now if you are looking to pick this cane up, it is in stock with ToysWonderland.com. That's where I got mine. But do bear in mind it is third party and it is unlicensed. That means the company that made this 
HCMY Studio doesn't hold the correct intellectual property rights to actually make this item, so do keep that in the back of your mind when you are making your purchasing decisions. Also, while you are down in the description, why not check out the link to Six Scale Network, the awesome Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, and of course, see what's coming up next on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.